<coughs> all right, since I can't talk with a mess, I'm going to do the video instruction here for you. All right, interior design. We're going to start interior design our house. Everything's going to be basically the same way. So if I click here, it takes me to the home design unit, and it pull everything up for you too. All right. So we're going to go to the chief architect start files. You can get it straight off the lesson plan or right here on the website here too. <coughs> I'm on a up. Have a little patience, which sometimes we know don't always have. I'm going to tell it to go ahead and open. You could also click on save and save it. Both of them work. But I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Now you want to make sure you save it as you work. So the way you access it tomorrow will be different because you've already started working on it. I'll show you how to do that into this tutorial. First I want to show you just how to get it started and get it going. So you're going to have to take, it takes a little while to open. So don't freak out. That's sometimes the hardest part. Okay, yay, we finally get something here. So I'm going to click OK. I just click on OK or exit out of everything until you get the floor plan where you see your walls. And, uh, oh, I don't want the newer version. All right, now here we go. You can use your wheel on your mouse, the scroll wheel, to scroll in and scroll out. You can also use this here. All right, now I'm going to go right here to this bedroom because we're going to start in a bedroom. Now, um, I'm going to show you. Usually when you open it up, all you see is this. You don't see your library. Click on the books, you know, library of books. <coughs> and that's going to pull up everything. And if you go through them, you see that there's lots of different, like, stuff you can pick from, okay? So that's what your libraries are for. They're for everything. So I'm going to go to interiors, furniture. I'm going to start with a bed. I'm going to put, a, I guess I'm going to put a queen in that one. And I'm going to click on them. And as I click on them, resize that. See, it shows me a wireframe and it shows me what it looks like. Or maybe I want a mission style. I don't know. Maybe I want a platform. Go through and pick whatever it is you think. So I'm going to go ahead and go with mission. And I'm going to pull it over here and stick it in. And I'm going to actually put it in the middle of the room to show you purposely what to do. Now, I don't want it there. So I'm going to go to my white arrow. I'm going to pick it when I do. See the little triangle? That is so I can spin it around. So if I wanted to put it in a corner there, and you let, I could. Don't know why I would do that in such a small room. If I had more room, I'd probably do it that way, but I'm going to do it like this. Okay, and I'm going to move it back. I'm going to move it over. And I'm going to go back in here again, and I'm going to put up the collapse this back down. And I need to get a storage furniture, and let's get a dresser. And again, you just go through and find one. And I'm going to stick to the mission style, because that's what I did for that one. And I'm going to stick it right here. And then let's pick a collapse that, and just do a regular end table. Let's do a uh, round. <clears throat> until I find something that I think goes with it. Actually, I kind of like that. And you just keep going. You keep putting your furniture in. Now, right now, it doesn't look like much. I can even say that uh, this high boy is not big enough. Maybe I want to make it bigger. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to drop it. <coughs> That's how hard it is to resize. Maybe I want it to be like the full size. Just for an example. Okay. It doesn't look like much right now. And if I go to 3D, let's go look at 3D. I'm going to go to 3D, floor overview. And it just creates a 3D so that I can work at it in 3D and see what I'm dealing with here. I'll just show it here. This is my spin my orbit tool. It shows me the whole house. I'm just using my scroll wheel on my mouse to scroll, scroll in so I can see everything. 
So the furniture, actually the color of the wood's not bad. I actually kind of like that because it matches. This is good. I'm just zooming in and zooming around. So I actually kind of like that. What I don't like is I don't like the color of the bed. So I'm going to do my properties. And you can do this in 3D. See how I click on it here? Or you can go back in here, back to your 2D, and you can do it the same way. So I'm just simply going to double click on it. This pulls up your properties. And I go to materials. Here's where you can change everything. Change the color of the bedspread. Color of the frame, which is your wood. The mattress and the pillows. Let's say I want the bedspread to be, um, I don't know, red. I'm going to my library picker. I go into materials and I'm gonna go find something I like. Uh, I can go straight to colors. Uh, generic colors. Uh, red, because I said that's what I wanted. And it gives you a whole bunch of ones you can pick from. So I'm gonna say, yeah, that's fine. <coughs> bright red, yeah, there we go. So now that's bright red. And I could add a texture to it if I wanted to. You can go in. Just showing you. Um, I want to keep the frame the same color. I kind of like that. Mattress, I don't like. I'll change it to black. <coughs> and there's lots of different ones you can pick from. I don't want white. Black, 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 black. Sometimes I have to go look for it. Darn your eyes. That was good. <coughs> oh. Let's go see what I can find. Oh, I like that. That'll work. And I want to change my pillow to oh, whatever you want it to be. Maybe this one I want to change to a fabric to ooh, something like that. Oh, oh no, not really. Different is kind of cool, but not quite what I want. Uh, yeah, no, maybe I want leather. I'm gonna go get a zebra just for fun, and I'm gonna tell it okay. Now you can't see it in here in the regular 2D, but if I go back into my 3D, you can see now that it's red, brown with zebra. <laughs> and yes, we can add more things. We can group. We can add more pillows. You can keep adding things to it. Sometimes you want to do a detail view. So if I go here and I want to do a wall, it should be a wall elevation, and I take a picture at the camera, it should show me what this view looks like. <coughs> and it's not showing the bed. So we're going here and we'll see if it's got furniture turned off. <coughs> oh, there we go. So if I go here and turn it on, I should be able to see it now. There it is. Okay, that's fine. The little button right next to it, the display options, you can turn layers on and off. And what it was is that it had exterior and the interior that checks off, and that's why we couldn't see them. And so now it shows me what it looks like in this view. And maybe I don't like this window. I can resize the window just like that to make it more like what I want it. Okay? Or if I say I like it, I can undo it. So this way I can see the so if I wanted to like put a clock here and I can't move it and can't see it, if I do those little elevations then I can see it. It's also real good because this is just the wireframe. But if you want to see what it looks like in some of the different ones, we can do the glass house. <coughs> what does it look like with the Etc. So you can do that with those views. I usually just leave it <coughs> at the standard just so that I can see just what I need to do in my wireframe. Because line drawing is usually all I need so I can see what I'm dealing with. I go back to one over here. I like to get rid of those and delete them after I use them because if you don't, they start to get confusing. Very, very, very confusing. Now, I'll go back into 3D and I'm going to show you how to change your walls. I don't like this color of the wall. I want to change it. I go here. And you've got different wall oils and materials are here too. <coughs> Here's a shortcut. Let's go in. 
and I'm going to be really wild and crazy. I'm going to go pick that zebra again just for fun. Just to show you. So if I spray paint a wall, I did the whole thing zebra. See? And it's going to do the whole room because that's all set up. Now that's a little too much for it, but I wanted to show you. <coughs> so you literally just go in. And let's say, uh, I don't know. Oh, no, not texture. Whatever you want it to be. Okay. I'm just going to actually go back to colors and I'm going to pick a generic color. And I'm going to go in here. I can also go here and pick a color and say I want to match the color of the red. Then I'm going to spray paint and spray paint the wall. Oh my. Fine. Should be able to just go pick the color and do it, but when it wants to be a pain in the butt, just go back to my colors, my generic. <coughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe I want to use cinnamon from the walls. It'll change the color of cinnamon. Something you don't like, <coughs> you can always undo. You can also double click on it, pull up the properties, and we should be able to go into wall colorings. I'm going to change it that way too. You can always go through these properties there. Your floor. Let's go back. See how I highlights that area? Your floors, you can do the same thing. So let's say, um, right now we're using, where's my base building? No, I want the floor. Structure, deck, buildings, covering. Uh, walls, base molding, so everything's in here. Like right now, I can go here and I could change it just this way. There's different things we can do. Why are we being up in here? Like, okay. I'll have to look up how to, how to do the floors again because I'm not liking what it's showing me here. And I should be able to click on it and change it to whatever I want it to be. What it's doing is selecting the walls instead of the actual floor. Okay, I see what it's doing. I'll have to figure out why it's doing that. So that, that gives you an example. And I can change the floors too. Should be able to go here. Flooring, uh, carpet. And I should be able to spray paint it. <coughs> and it changes that way. So there we go. So you can spray paint it that way if you want to too. And remember, you can spray paint the color. Or if you double click and pull up the properties. Go back to my 2D view because sometimes that's what you have to do. <clears throat> I mean, go on and change it in here. Okay? And you just keep doing this from room to room. And at the end of the day, always do a save as. Never do a save, always do a save as. Always make sure you're saving it to your folder. My computer. And then each your drive and save it there. So tomorrow you'll come in and you're going to go to your drive and you're going to open it up that way. Okay? So save it there. All right? Congratulations. You can do this. Just keep at it.